Hi, I'm Laura Carmichael and I am an actress. I, I did lots of youth theatre when I was a kid. I was really lucky. My two sisters um, and I both did dancing um, after school. And uh, Amy, my older sister, had been doing these professional pantomimes. So every year when you got to a certain age, you got to um, be in the babes, as they were called. And, uh, and you know, it just seemed so fun. And the year that I thought, oh, this is my go, and <laughs> have a go, um, this TV show came and they did like an audition for it. And I didn't get it. And it was a real, <laughs> um, uh, much, it sort of changed my life that moment, I think, because it made me realise that I wanted to do it and um, I had to work at it and it really changed my perspective. So I always think that's um, an interesting thing about this job is sometimes it's it's the things that you don't do that um, sort of spur you on. So after that, I sort of bugged my mum to let me do any other youth theatre that was around. And then I did the pantomime next year, um, <laughs> which was great. Um, and yeah, and so I, I was doing that bits of musical theatre shows, which I loved. And then when I was about 16, um, I got to do my first Shakespeare. It was a boys school up the road who was doing Shakespeare and they needed girls. And uh, it, it was amazing. And I feel really lucky because it wasn't something that was available um, at my school at that time. But um, I felt like I snuck into this world and I fell in love um, with Shakespeare and with doing plays and that really again just sort of spurred me on and made me go I want to I want to do this forever. I think youth theatre is so important and I think it should be available to everyone because I think it for loads of different reasons I think it builds your confidence I think it sort of gets you into working into teams and that's I mean for me that is so much a part of why I love theatre and why I love acting is that you become part of this huge team. Even if you're doing a one person show, you're there with the director and the stage manager and the designer, and you're building something together and you're looking at a story together and how you can tell it. And I think that is so good for us as humans to be working together to kind of peel back the layers of a character or what's going on. And so, yeah, I, I think NT Connections is amazing. And um, and yeah, I, I, I think all of these um, endeavours should be available to as many people as possible. Downton Abbey was my first TV role. So I hadn't done any TV before then. So I did approach it in the exact way I would do a play um, because that's what I knew. And I think that works out pretty well, to be honest. Um, it's the same thing. You've got your scripts there and your your piecing through you're doing your detective work as to who this character is what do other people say about me what do I say about myself what do I say about others and from those worlds and kind of doing your kind of detective work on the script you then get to your sort of private time of um, you know imagining that person in that world and and yeah I'd say the difference for screen is that you have to do probably more work alone and then come to set um having done some of the work that you would probably do over weeks and weeks and weeks in a rehearsal room with a director and other cast so yeah it's quite quick telly particularly um so but it's the same kind of process it's exactly how you approach any character and any story i think where you're performing the different spaces it's, it's really important to kind of think about that before going on so it's helpful and when we when I was at drama school we, we did a tour um, around the west country because I went to Bristol or Vic and we would play a different venue every night and some of them were big theatres and some of them were church halls so we would arrive at the venue and as a cast we'd sort of take to the auditorium and and try different levels if there were different levels or if you're in a church hall that's a bit easier um, but yeah, we, we test out the acoustics and see how it feels because it is really important to feel that you're filling that space. Um, and at the same time, then if you have a more intimate venue, then you can you can play with that a bit more. You can you can be a bit more intimate with the way that you deliver things. 
So yeah, I think it's a great idea if you can do that kind of in your warm up and test the space, make sure you can be heard. And, uh, and that really settles you into that. If you can sort of take over the theatre before the audience arrive, then it kind of feels a bit like it's your space a bit more. I hope that we get lots more encouragement for young people to get into the arts, because I think it is so important. And I think it's so part of our cultural identity. And I think that we're really, you know, I, I want to seek out work from from new voices and young voices and I, I feel like there's a real drive for that at the moment so my hope for all of you young people is to just keep going and if you've got an idea talk to people about it write it down and uh, yeah just just keep going because we need it and particularly coming out of this time coming out of lockdown lockdown we're gonna we're gonna need it